Can you score half a point from the Asian Physics Olympiad, one of the hardest physics exams in the world? Consider a relativistic particle of mass m. There is a constant uniform force field acting on it that is accelerating it to a speed v at a time t. What we need to find out is an expression for the acceleration of this particle. We're going to be tackling this problem using the relativistic form of Newton's second law, which is that the force is equal to the rate of change of momentum. However, remember in relativity, the momentum is given by gamma mv, where gamma is just the relativistic factor, which is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, where v is the speed of the particle with respect to the rest frame and c is the speed of light. Because we're unlikely to be doing a lot of algebra with this, we're going to introduce this factor beta, which is just equal to v over c, meaning that our gamma factor is just equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus beta squared. Now let's differentiate to find our acceleration. So the force will be equal to, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a factor of the mass outside of the derivative. What I have left inside is gamma, which is just equal to uh, 1 minus beta squared, all square rooted. And then this is multiplied by v, so beta is v over c, meaning that v will be beta times c. So I'm going to multiply this by b, and because c is a constant that is just the speed of light, I'm just going to write this over here. And now we have a relatively tricky derivative. Rather than using a combination of the quotient rule and the chain rule, I'm going to use my new favorite trig in differentiation, which is Feynman's method of differentiation. Just look how cool it is. The first thing that we need to do is just rewrite our expression. So that will be cm and then 1 over the square root of 1 minus beta squared times beta. And then I'm going to be opening up some brackets. The power of the first factor is just 1 because it's beta to a power of 1. So I'm just going to write a 1. And then at the bottom of the fraction, I'm just going to copy down the factor. So this will be beta. At the top, will just be the derivative of the factor. So rather than writing the beta by dt, I'm just going to write beta dot. And then plus the power of the second factor is minus a half. So the factor multiplying this will be minus a half. So it will be minus 1 over 2. At the bottom, I'm just going to copy down the factor, which is 1 minus beta squared. And at the top, I will differentiate this with respect to the variable, which is just going to give me minus 2 beta multiplied by beta dot by the chain rule. And we're done with this derivative and that did not take very long. Let's tidy this expression up now. So we can rewrite this as gamma cubed m v dot, but v dot is actually just our acceleration and this whole expression is actually just equal to the force. So we can just write over here that the force is equal to gamma cubed m a, meaning that the acceleration is going to equal to f divided by gamma cubed multiplied by m. And this here was just half a point on the Asian Physics Olympiad. If you enjoyed this video but you're wondering how did I differentiate this, have a look at this unique method introduced by Richard Feynman for differentiation that will completely change the way you differentiate. This video is right over here.